Brandenburger Tor lies the Reichstag building. The Wilhelmstrasse is the seat of the government of the Reich. Here is the Chancery of the Reich, the residence of the Führer and Chancellor Adolf Hitler. renowned Siemens factories in the midst of his workmen, the Führer called the German people to work. And Berlin is working. Klingenberg power station supplies Berlin with electricity. The quays and wharves, which are fast growing into one of the most important inland harbors of Europe, bear witness that Berlin is a mighty industrial center. The Niederfino ship elevator on the outskirts of Berlin is the largest in the world, a marvelous feat of engineering. From the zoo to the Brandenburger Tor, in the very heart of the city, stretches the Tiergarten. Two and a half million square meters of trees, flowers and lawns. The Funkturm, Berlin's radio tower, is one of the landmarks of the West End. is 
Germany's Radio City Broadcasting House. Around the Funkturm are the most extensive exhibition grounds of the Reich. Avis, fastest <laughs> Germany's tennis champion, von Kramp. Here, the Olympic Stadium, where the best athletes of all nations meet at the Olympic Games. Next to sport, the modern housing plans of the city administration command attention. In all districts, dwelling houses, models of convenience and hygiene are being built for hundreds of thousands. Children's playgrounds and paddling pools abound everywhere. Small villas among trees and flower gardens frame the city. A chain of lakes within a wide expanse of woods lies like a wreath around the entire city and forms Berlin's most beautiful adornment. They are a source of joy and recreation for more than four million people. And the Berliner, quite rightly, loves his lakes above everything. popular bathing beach on the Wannsee. Weekend camping goes on all through summer. Potsdam, the epitome of true Prussianism, which spirit Berlin also owes its prosperous advance. Frederick the Great's favorite palace, Sanssouci, in the midst of wide parks and murmuring fountains. King's library, his music stand, and his beloved flute, the armchair in which he breathed his last, the clock which stopped at the hour of his death. General von Steuben's monument. Potsdam's whole atmosphere is pervaded by the spirit of Prussian history, the forerunner of Berlin's and Germany's greatness. <laughs> 